Hello everyone and today I'm going to show you and indeed myself how to use uh, Microsoft Teams on an iPad. So uh, without further ado we're just going to dive straight in. So here I am, I'm on my iPad. This is actually my iPad, so just doing a screen, screen mirroring thing here. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is to go to the App Store. So that was probably a bit quick, but look, if you can't get to the App Store, <laughs> then you're in real trouble. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in Microsoft, Microsoft Teams. Okay, and I'm gonna select it. Uh, then I have to get it um, and then I'll need to install it and if your touch ID doesn't work then you need to enter your password um, so I shall put mine in now and click done and then it'll start to download so um, this isn't going to be very entertaining so what we'll do is we'll speak actually it is it isn't very slow to be fair I guess because it's um, kind of cloud based then it maybe it doesn't um, it doesn't need to do too much so this is this is actually it coming in live as we speak so what we're going to do once it um, once it loads up we can either open from here or we can find out where it actually ended up putting it. It's usually far on the right hand side, uh, but as it happens, it actually put it onto this screen here. So um, so it's the Teams thing, T with the two people on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm going to sign in. So sign up, for, sign in with another account. So obviously at this point you need your Office 365 account. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Um, so let me just think about which account would be the best one. Um, I'm going to, I'm actually going to use my account on this. Now, as I'm probably signed in elsewhere on this, um, it may have logged me in uh, without doing a password, but normally it wouldn't, um, uh, it, it wouldn't log you in. Now, in this case, I would probably allow it to send you notifications so that if people are trying to reach you, it'll um, let you know. So I'm gonna click allow on that. Um, Teams would like access to the microphone, so that makes sense because you're gonna be having meetings on there. So I'll click okay on that. Um, so then there's a bit of blurb to do with what you can do so you can share files click next um, and next again so this is just saying that you can have meetings and so on we'll we'll do our best on that so I'll click got it on that now uh, I'm looking on here and it's not not got a huge amount here <clears throat> but in in reality it should have quite quite a bit of thing here Quite, quite a few things here. So I'm just gonna click on there. It, it does actually have my uh, account here. So I'm gonna make sure I click on the account. Ah, <clears throat> so the difference here is normally it's on the left hand side <clears throat> with um, uh, the, the way to get your teams on the left hand side. But actually we can see on here that all of the options are on the bottom. So I don't know if I can, so obviously I can't click on these things, but you can see activity, chat, teams, calendar, calls. So actually if you look on the calendar, for starters, um, would like to use Bluetooth. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to say don't allow. I don't need that at the moment. Uh, click on my screen, of course. Um, and this, it's not the easiest calendar thing to look at, if I'm brutally honest. Um, so um, you know, it's so it's it's not perhaps perfect but i guess you can just scroll through them in order to find your your meetings and then when you do find your meetings you can then click on them and actually if you want to join the meeting you would then join it in that way but what we'll do is we'll actually set up a meeting so um the uh, in fact we, yeah we'll do that so so i'm going to click on teams because Teams is like a really, really important area. Um, so this is a silly team that I've got. Um, it's with my mum basically, and I just send her um, send her these silly quotes. Um, so uh, you can see that it's got posts. There's a files section as well. 
Um, and this is where you can you can put different things in here um, genuinely put files in there um, and let's just see what's on more so you can add different tabs if you want to I wouldn't be trying to do that on um, on this particular uh, I wouldn't be choosing to do that on the on the iPad but well what why don't we try it for fun um, in fact no I won't because I'm gonna keep this simple so go on to posts there um, and just gonna see if I can find the the channel where we um, so I can put a new post in there um, and I'm gonna call it test one two three actually it's not even one two three is it so test one two three post post and I can click OK on that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch screens to the um, the uh, to my computer and we'll see what that looks like on my computer so here I am in teams and this is teams online so this is from the other person's perspective so I'm in as this uh, this particular user here so what I can do and we can see the post at the bottom that was in there so I can do a reply to that and say um, I can do a reply to that now just bear in mind my internet is a little bit on the slow side it would normally be a bit quicker um, so I'll pop my reply in there um, and so now here we are in teams but we're in as a different user we're in as this uh, user called my family uh, and what I can do is I've seen this post here and I can actually reply to that post uh, what a great post uh, I am having having trouble with uh, with the uh, internet connection at the moment, so it's just sort of catching up with me there. And I can actually do things like so I can um, I can say what a great post it was, and then if we flick back to the uh, once it's actually sent it, um, it's sending that post, and just I'll just gonna just move back to the uh, the mirroring software. And you can see that it's saying to us what a great post now um, what I can now do um, is I can then on teams I can put a reply on there so we can see they're about to do a reply and actually I quite like the idea that you can um, put photos from your photo library so you come up here so I'm just going to take a photo of something so I'll take a photo and I can actually take a photo of something that's there so there's the um, my uh, whatever it is sword sting I'll take a photo of that uh, and then I'll click done on that and then I will send it so it'll go off on the internet and now that message is sent so if I return back here to the uh, to my other user um, eventually the the reply will will actually go through uh, but it's uh, yeah you can see it's coming through there so that conversation has started to take place and it's just bringing in that image at the moment but it's a bit slow because that's uh, that's what life is like these days so you can do that uh, you can do things like videos and so on so um, the other uh, so the, so that's that's kind of interesting you can also um, you can also do this idea of adding people and that's where you kind of like it's a, a way of highlighting uh, the fact that you want to speak to them so you can add them so maybe I'll put at Rory um, and that's quite an odd one actually because I'm not expecting that Rory uh, it's it's been a bit funny with me at the moment but you would normally I've got so many tenants that it it, it, um, it comes up with so many options and um, so I'm actually going to type in Rory.Neary and just see what it's Rory uh, at no so normally you'd be able to at people and then it would come up with their name and then that would mean that they would get a notification so I'm going to try this on the on the computer instead and um, so what I'll do is I'll start a new conversation and I'll go at Rory Yeah, it's not coming up. there it is and that's the one I wanted to come up with so this was um, uh, hi uh, it is a sunny day great so 
so that's me having a conversation now and if we move back to the to the mirror and stuff where we should see some kind of notification this this is a different type of message we've actually you can see right at the top um that there's a notification and that's a slightly better way of knowing what's what's happening so i'm just going to go on you can see the activity down at the bottom here the activity oops my mouse gone the activity uh, was showing with a with a message there and you could see that that, that it was quite clear that there's that was something going on so the next thing to look at is um so we can do things like uh we can do things like chat now chat is is something where you can have effectively it's like a one-to-one -one chat with with someone else um so you can then look someone up um, and it would be my family and then you can have you can actually see the chat that my, I've been having uh, there and it's quite clear that and so this is a one-to-one -one chat it's not the same as as normal teams and um, but if you do have a team then obviously everyone can co collaborate with those so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attempt to set up a meeting for now um, and I'm going to go on to there um, uh, and I can, I'll call it um, uh, YT for YouTube meeting and add participants so I'm going to type in family Neary click done um, and when am I going to start it I'm going to start it at well I'm going to, I'm going to make sure it actually it's started already so I'll I'll make sure it's sort of set to 11 uh, to 11.25 and then click done on that so that means that that meeting is now available to, to these people um, and what I can do now is I'm going to click on the meeting itself and I can actually join that meeting so I'm going to click join on there so my video off if my mic is off um, obviously you need to you know change those around um, and then the other thing to remember is you need to click join now and it's really tempting not to click join now because you just think oh I'm in the meeting so you must click that so um, I am going to now put the um, I'm going to leave the mic off but I put the video on because it will get a bit peculiar um, okay hello um, uh, good so I'm on screen uh, and I'm going to click join now so now we're getting connected up so okay that's a little bit on the big side and um, so so now the meeting has started and I can I can move over uh, to the I'm going to look for meetings on here uh, go to my calendar and I'm going to join from the perspective of the the other person uh, we should be able to see a meeting come in here uh, but uh, uh, so there we are we've got the meeting uh, I don't know why it's just it came in and then it disappeared so we would get the option to, to join that meeting um, and and go on from there so here I am I'm in teams on my computer and I you can see that I can see there's a, a meeting set up this this is the uh, this is the my family user so if I click join on that then I will get to join it so um, eventually it will it will pop up um, to get me to get into the meeting and um, the reason why this has got a funny little tick on it is because um, you can accept or decline it so if you do get a meeting request then accepting it is a good idea so I'm clicking on join um, and I can click join now I'm not going to do the audio uh, I will do the video and that will probably just destroy all the internet that I've got um, so we may need to be a little bit careful with that so um, video isn't working so that's fine I'm not I'm not fussed about that the main thing is that you would be able to talk to each other and um, just make sure that you are unmuted on this so what I'm going to do is I am going to jump back to the iPad so I need to make sure I've got my my um, copy of the iPad okay so now we've got the fairly peculiar situation where 
um, we've got um, what we're seeing in the middle here is the iPad and the iPad is broadcasting its screen. You can share your own screen, but it's only so that I can show you some bits and pieces here. So if I click on the actual screen, we could go into the chat because you could be in the middle of a chat um, during your meeting. Test ABC and then click enter. Uh, all right, you have to click the send button on there. Um, there's bits and pieces about the details of the meetings. Uh, there, should, there might be files associated with the meetings. Um, and you can also invite more people. And this is really key. So right at the top there, um, that you can invite more people who might be in, inside or outside your organization. It would still work. Uh, the add a room piece, um, I don't think is relevant to what we're looking at here. Um, so moving back onto the main screen, I'm going to stop. Um, uh, I'm going to stop one of the videos because this is very peculiar. Um, so uh, that's it's definitely not helping me that the um, that, that there's all these videos going on. Um, and so what you can see is that you've got the options, the three dots there. You can you can either have the sound on or off. So I would be saying to you, you need to have both things. Don't have anything muted. Um, and uh, so let's just see. I'm going to click on the screen again to get the options up. There's not much. So in the three dots. So this is the piece. Um, I just clicked on the three dots. It'll eventually pop up on the screen once it's finally come through. Uh, and so bear in mind, you can actually record your screen. Not very useful. But what you can do is you can share the screen. So I'm going to now turn turn off the incoming video, which will be interesting. I've not used that before. Uh, that definitely didn't work. Um, uh, I'm still presenting um, and I'm going to click this. But I can, and so you've got the option to share your screen. Probably want to leave that for the moment. And just bear in mind, you can now we can we can end the meeting by clicking on the um, clicking on the um, the red phone icon. So we'll end the meeting now. Okay. Okay. Uh, and in fact, that's a bit late now. So the the meeting is ended, and we're back into the um, we're back into this. Um, so I'm gonna stop doing my video, uh, which is this and um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rejoin the meeting so you can see my screen again so I've got the option to hang up which is the red but I just want to make sure you click on the screen and you can go back on your screen and then you're back into the normal area. Just bear in mind that this meeting is still kind of going on. Um, so you've got your teams and your um, teams at the bottom. So you can see your activity, chat, teams, etc., etc. Let's just focus on the meetings for the moment. So hopefully this has helped. I know it's a bit strange, um, but the main thing is just about logging in and so on. Uh, and then if you're unsure, make sure somebody else sets the meeting up for you uh, and good luck.